Okay, Marcus, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. It's fucking crazy, man. Turning now to a sweeping proposal on gun violence, not here, but in Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has just introduced far-reaching gun legislation that has never gained any it's traction here flex, in America. Basically. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more on this, where President Biden, as you know, is urging Congress to take action. Nancy, a lot of people are asking Congress to take action. Good morning to you. Good morning. And they are, at least, Gail, beginning to talk. There is a... I'm going to be honest. I absolutely fucking despise what they're doing up in Canada, okay? This is just... You're just flexing. Why are you flexing on us? What did we do to deserve this? Don't make me come over and invade your fucking country, dude. I swear to God, California will invade Canada and make it a part of California a blast, okay? What is this, bro? What the fuck is this shit? They're like, they're literally flexing on us. They're like, oh, America's got some gun violence, eh? Let's make sure we don't have any. A small bipartisan group of U.S. senators who are meeting virtually today and throughout the week to see if they can come up with some kind of framework for a way forward on gun reform proposals. But while they're taking those initial tentative steps here, our neighbors to the north appear to be taking immediate action. We need less gun violence. We cannot let the guns debate become so polarized that nothing gets done. We cannot let that happen in our country. The new proposal announced by Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Dude, what even happened that, like, Canada did this? They're, they're such a mara brain, dude. They are such American brain. Like, they just have the same brain rot that we do. Like, why is Justin Trudeau passing fucking legislation for America in, in fucking Canada? The day after the shooting, some kid walked around with a BB gun in Toronto and was capped by the police right away. Would freeze handgun sales and implement a gun buyback program for military-style weapons. Those weapons were banned in Canada following a 2020 mass shooting in Nova Scotia that claimed 22 lives. We need only look south of the border to know that... If we do not take action firmly and rapidly, it gets worse and worse and more difficult to counter. Here at home, President Biden said yesterday he wants to see tighter gun restrictions too, especially when it comes to the AR-15 style rifle used Does by he? the gunman in Uvalde, Texas. Remember, the Constitution is never he? absolute. Mr. Biden admitted there is little he can do on his own without Congress, and the votes aren't there for an assault weapons ban. But this week, the two sides will discuss closing background check loopholes and a red flag law that would allow judges to take guns away from people who are deemed to be a risk. Later today, President Biden will welcome New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to the White House. She imposed a nationwide ban on semi-automatic weapons in 2019 after a gunman killed more than 50 people at two mosques in Christchurch. When we saw something like that happen, everyone said never again. And so then it was incumbent on us as politicians to respond to that. Unlike President Biden, Prime Minister Arden is able to take major action like that without legislation. One big difference between New Zealand and the U.S. And while it is a positive sign that these lawmakers from both sides are at least talking, we have seen that kind of talk before, Nate, without results. Yeah, we need much more than just talk right now. Nancy, thank you so much. Border Patrol agent. Bro, I fucking hate. I, I hate this shit, dude. They're flexing on us. They're just like. They're literally just fucking absolutely flexing on us. How to buy a gun in 16 countries? I can't. I can't show. I can't click on this because I'm not subscribed.